In these sessions, we are going to discuss about how to do the localization testing using Selenium, NLP, and machine learning. So for now, for automated localization testings, generally what we do, we get the string from the resource file and then compare that with the extracted test from the target web page using Selenium or any other uh, automation tool. Okay. The problem with this approach is that we need to the right XPath or any other locator strategy to read the individual string from the web page. Okay, and which is a bit cumbersome. And, and then we do the comparison by reading all those uh, text file from the resource, uh, resource file one by one. So every time the content of the page changes, we need to update uh, the locators or we need to add uh, X path. And then third, we need to load the resource file for the each target language. And, and overall it is very time consuming process. Okay, as a part of the solutions, uh, so I, I want to leverage uh, that machine learning and that natural language processing so that we can fasten off this, uh, the process. So here we going to harness the power of very powerful tool which is a lingua okay now coming to the lingua it is a library which with that library we can easily detect short words or, or sentence and that involve machine learning and natural language it supports more than 70 languages and it works with the java version 6 plus onwards and both for wave and android and no additional training of the language model is necessary and finally it uh, the one of the uh, strike striking feature is we can use it in the offline mode coming to the solution so what i am trying to do is i will keep all the links of the targeted web pages in a properties file and then i am going to read those links one by one uh, of of that designated language or targeted language and using selenium i will extract all the i will extract all the text i will write some generic uh, x path which will read all the text from the web page and one by one i will check whether those text are uh, fulfilling the particular language or translated language or not if a particular word or sentence is not fulfilling it so I'll, I'll flag it and what I'm doing, I'm creating one JSON file and in that JSON file, uh, I'll maintaining those untranslated word. Suppose uh, the web page should uh, translate it and they're contained in the Spanish and there are a few words which are not translating. So I'll capture those untranslated uh, text. Okay. And I will I'll put them in a JSON file. So basically I'll maintaining the untranslated word. Then I'm maintaining the index and then I'm keeping one flag like a uh, yes or no and the X path. And then I, <coughs> once, once the JSON file is completed or, or created, then one can easily do the analysis, which are the text, which are untranslated using the x path or the value okay and and then you can flag those untranslated word as a accepted so if you have to flag that okay this is acceptable that this particular word is not translated then you have to make the valid flag from yes to no and put this as a input for the next one and to give input what you need to do he created one another folder in in the root of the project as a input underscore particular language okay and and you have to keep that json file into it so next run uh, this code will automatically read that json file and check whether uh, that word is uh, the flag as yes or no if it is no then it will bypass that so that after the next turn, the JSON file, which will, which will be created, not contain this particular word. And if there is 
all the words are accepted range then no json file will be created so i have used the test ng uh, as a framework and uh, the target page is atnt's uh, internet page okay which is in a spanish language so i have kept that uh, url here in the link i have only keep one that is a internet okay and as you can see here i am initializing the driver and then i here i am quitting the driver now i have keep on a data provider in the data provider through data provider i can pass on the languages so here i am passing the spanish language and now in the test i capture this languages and i am opening the web page now here you can see that i am reading the link okay from the properties file one by one and then i start doing the web page check okay so in the web page check the first thing i am doing is uh, opening the web page okay and then scrolling to the end of the page okay so that all the elements reflect in the web page and then i have written a generic xpath which is extracting all the text from uh, the web page and for each individual web pages now here you can see uh, what i am doing it i am doing it check so i am calling uh, here this is actually the method so what i am doing that i am doing the language check okay so this is the temp string basically that this is string is is the string which extracted by my generic uh, xpath okay and i am doing the language detection here so in the language detection if that language is is a english it is returning true and if it is language is not english then it is turning a false means it is translating correctly okay now the initialization of this i am doing using the lingua now at the top of that here you can see the language detector being initialized with the different languages like your french spanish german portuguese and english okay so once it it, it is uh, getting you back the whether the string is trans uh, english or non english then accordingly what i am trying to do is creating a json file and the in the json file as i said right i have a three uh, four Uh, entities like a value is equal to text okay text is the text which is untranslated and then i'm maintaining an index and the valid yes or no and then finally i have a xpath so that i can next so that i can during analysis i at least need to refer the xpath and see which particular text is not untranslated and here i did some file uh, management i'm creating that json file and all okay let me quickly run this and show you okay now i am running this it is launching okay okay uh okay start it now it will maximize in the browser the next thing it will do it will scroll to the bottom so that all uh, the elements get uh, reflected in the page the bottom and then it will start reading those uh, text okay now the processing is on okay now it is done let me refresh this project now you can see as a folder has created and this folder a json file is created the json file name would be the title of the pages 
okay let me double click it and uh, maybe sorry format it now you can see this is uh, this is the uh, JSON file that is created okay so next time uh, what we can do you can make if, if this directory and internet which is acceptable then you can make it yes to no okay and then again if it is acceptable make it no again then what we'll do we'll create a folder here we'll create a new folder here and name of the folder will be input underscores yes language and yes uh, i think the the language one second yes us okay. and then we copy this one and paste it okay and let's delete it so now in the next run if all are accepted so it will not create any external uh, json file okay so this way we can simplify this process maybe you can also uh, improve this code and accordingly you can customize it but the idea is that we, how we can leverage the machine learning and natural language processing. So this code is available in the GitHub channel and I'll keep the uh, GitHub uh, project link in the descriptions. So you can download and do all of your experiments. Thank you.